In this video, I will provide an example with real data on how to do panel data models. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the example that we would consider is if we have panel data on wages, and we would need to consider variation both over time or the within variation and across individuals the between variation. The dependent variable would be log wage and education experience and weeks worked would be the independent variables. And we will use data from the panel study of income and dynamics. So the estimators that we will use and that we talked about in the lecture are the pooled OLS estimator, the between estimator, fixed effects or within estimator, first differences, and random effects. The first thing to do when you have data is to summarize it. And when we have panel data, the summary is a little bit more interesting uh, than just providing means and standard deviation as is typical. So. And the, the reason for that is because we need to consider three variation, the, the overall, the between, and the within variation. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first variable that we have is the individual ID. That's not a real variable. This just shows the cross-sectional dimension of the data. And the next variable that we have is the time, the time dimension. So these two variables that we have in the data set are summarized, but we use them to decide uh, how to classify our panel data. So the real variables are log wage, that would be our dependent variable, and education experience and weeks work, that would be our independent variables. So looking at the individual ID, we see that it varies from one to 595, so that's the number of observations that we have. Uh, so the mean is kind of uh, pointless uh, here. Um, and so one thing uh, then to look at is time. For time, we have the minimum is from one to seven periods that we have. Uh, okay. So next, let's look at the log wage. This would be our dependent variable. The mean for that is 6.7. And if we look at the minimum is 4.6, maximum is um, 8.5. And now let's look at the standard deviation. The overall is 0 0.46, the between is 0 0.39, and the within is 0 0.24. So this means that we have more between variation from one individual to the next than within variation, which means the variation of, of a person over time. Okay, so, um, so that's something to note. Next one is education. Average uh, number of years of education is um, 12.8 and it varies between 4 and 17 um, so the standard deviation here is 2.8 for the overall and the between is 2.8 and the within is 0 so what does that mean here we have a variable that is time invariant which means that however many years you have in the data that did not change for the person for any of the people over time that's why the within variation is zero. But the between variation is all of the overall variation because it varies from one person to the next. Like the person with the lowest variation, with the lowest number of years is four and the highest is 17, same as the, as the overall. Next one is experience. Think about this variable. It usually changes um, each period later. You have one more period of experience, right? And that varies between 1 and 51. Okay, so this is the overall variation of 11. The between is 10.8 and the within is 2.0 which means there's a lot more between variation than within variation. The within variation is almost deterministic. Um, ne next year you get one more year of experience, uh, but the between is very much is larger because there is a great variation from one person to the next. You know, It's possible one person has one year of experience and the other one has 
uh, and the, the person with maximum years of experience has 51. So weeks worked, um, 40, 47 weeks worked on average, but that could vary between 5 and 52 weeks of the year. And if we look at the standard deviation, that's almost equally split between the between and within, which means that there is just almost as much variation from one person to the next as it is for the same person over time. So again, notice how this um, table is just a little bit richer than the table that we would have for like regular regular data and it's important that you include such table in your research um, when you when you when you do your analysis um, so that you have this richness of uh, within and, and between okay so on the next slide I have summarized uh, some of these points time invariant variables like individual ID and education they would have positive between variation and zero within variation and experience has more variation uh, between variation than within variation. And the average experience of individuals is between 4 and 48 years across individuals, but it varies by 7 years for um, an individual over time. So these are some, some of the summary points that you can include. Okay, so let's go ahead and now estimate the, uh, the different panel data models using different estimators. And here are the results. Um, I have, these are the columns for each of the uh, estimators that we considered and in the parentheses I have the T statistics and the star denotes significant at, at the 5% significance level. So how do we interpret these results? Um, first of all, um, the results generally show that if we have higher values of experience in education, they're associated with higher values of log wages for all estimators. So you can see that all of these uh, estimates are positive and significant. Uh, on the other hand, the um, weeks worked is significant for some estimators, but not for, uh, not for others. So if we look particularly at the OLS regression, uh, the way we can interpret these results is that an additional year of experience here would lead to, to um, 0.04 units of log wage higher. But because it's log wage, the way we interpret that is 4% higher wages. So one additional year of experience leads to 4% higher wages. So for the between variation, Notice that um, when we talk about between variation, we are comparing an individual to that of, um, of other people. So if you have one more year of experience in comparison to the average experience across individuals, you would have 3% higher wage. So for the within, on the other hand, we are comparing the experience of an individual as compared to its own average. So if you have one more year of experience in comparison to your own average, you would have 11% higher wages. For the first difference, if you have one additional year of experience from one year to the next, that would increase uh, your overall wages by 11%. And then the random effects would be the same as, as within, within. So this is how you, um, you uh, interpret those results. So notice that some of the um, variables do not produce any, any uh, coefficient estimates. Look at these, they're dropped. So education, if you can remember from the previous table, that did not have any um, time variation. So when we're considering within variation or first differences that consider uh, variation from its own mean, it's dropped because it doesn't vary over time. Okay, um, another thing to interpret here is um, rho. Rho 
right here is the proportion of variation due to the individual specific term. So we have very large proportion, 98 or 81 percent, that's explained by the individual specific terms and the rest is due to idiosyncratic error. So this is actually very good because we may not know where the variation is coming from but we can ascribe it to that particular person. So lambda uh, in our case uh, is, is this parameter that is 82 percent so as we talked in in the lecture um, it looks like the uh, random effect estimates are much closer to the within estimates than to the OLS estimates so and finally we need to interpret the R squares they show that uh, the between uh, estimator can explain uh, about 32 percent of the between variation and on the other hand the fixed and random effects estimators can explain between 66 and 63 percent of the within uh, variation so the between one uh, the between estimator should be able to explain the between variation very well and, and the within ones should be able to explain the within variation uh, very well. The last thing to mention here is that um, if you uh, do the Hausman test, uh, that shows significant difference between the coefficients for the fixed and the random effects models, and it shows significant statistic. And therefore, we want to use the fixed effects model because it will give us consistent estimates. So on the next slide that I have here, I have already discussed all of these points uh, as I was looking as I was uh, looking at the table. So feel free to pause the the video here and take a look at uh, at all these points. So thanks for watching this, and please now follow up with the statistical software uh, in uh, Stata, SAS, and R that I'm estimating these panel data models.